Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and continues to the Excel learning the Excel function which you are learning, right? So the continuation to that, today I come up with a, another function which will help you in the work front and that function name is called choose, okay? So let's see how how it can be helpful and what are the different scenarios we can cover up here, right? So uh, let's take an example, here I have a sales and across the month like Jan, Feb, March and April and May, I want to calculate. Okay, so I have a sales for the January month. So this is my sales and based on that I need to provide some bonus. Okay, so that uh, uh, my sales will be increased or whatever may be the scenario here. And there are three types of bonus I need to supply. One is high, the medium and the low. Okay, so 10%, 15%, 20% and 15%. Now here the bonus is I need to put a choice here, right? If I press one here, it should uh, it should calculate the sales amount of fifteen percent. If I put two, twelve percent. If I put three, ten percent. So this scenario how we can achieve? So that time we need to use a choose function. Okay. So let's understand the choose function here. So equals to choose the index number. Index number is nothing but the search. Like where you want to search, you can put one, you can put two, you can put three. But this is my selection where I need to put my value, whether it's one, whether it's a two, whether it's a three. Okay. And let me lock this file, lock this sales, uh, F4. Okay. F4 function, F4 button to just lock it like the absolute comma. Then I need to give value one, value two, value three. So this is my first value which I again I will lock it second value would be this this order is very important what you are selecting and this is the third value which is also a lock value oh, that's it done now let's try to put a value of 1 here so I should get there 0 0.5 right this is the formula right if I press 2 I will get 12 percent if I get 3, I can get the 10 percent and based on that I can compare like I can sum this up or I can combine this whatever you want to do just take the sales value and just plus it minus it, multiply it whatever maybe. The main important thing is this one and the order is very important. So the first will be this. So when I am putting 1, it will go to the C7. When I am putting 2 here, it will go to C8 which is the 12 percent and is C9. So the order is very important when you are choosing the values okay this is the way choose works let's go to another example here so here i have a what i have a sales and i have a different total uh, profit percentage and i have a different net profit percentage also okay so here also i need to choose one or two if you have one i should get total profit if i get two i should get a net profit and based on that i will do create a chart as well let's see so here what i will do i will say choose okay then what should I the value? Value would be this, right? As you know, it should be like uh, function then f4, so it will be lock. And uh, this time this will be the first value, and this time this will be the second value. And this time I will not lock it because I want the further values as well. Okay, so just get it now. Put one here, so I am getting total profit. Now expand this data up to here. I will get the exact amount whatever the, the total profit right if I say 2 I will getting the net profit okay now based on that I can switch on my chart also so how we can do that just select this and press function uh, f1 okay so let me just put it so automatically the chart will be get created alt f1 okay the shortcut to create the chart is alt f1 okay now if I select this net profit just control C sorry we put to that select that and select the legend so that I will get the legend here now select this part control C control V so automatically if you see my chart is first is comparing based on the net profit right so if I say 1 if I say 1 it should be total profit and automatically my chart also is getting change to sales this is dynamic okay so these are the two scenario which can be helpful to represent something 
to a higher management because excel thing is like uh, like whenever you are working with a uh, like a non tech professional like where you are to explain them in a certain way instead of going with a technical way right so that time these are the things will be very helpful okay and these are the functions you can use for your daily activities okay thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day and please do subscribe to this channel for more interesting content like this and uh, share it across your friends and colleagues thanks thanks for watching